So when it comes to like the porosity of the material, how is it for finishing parts? Because I know in the past we've, you know, we've looked at different systems to have in our facility because of what we do, right? When we are, um, when we need to have new inserts made when we're doing mold repair and things like that. So we've, we've um, investigated a few systems in the past and the parts look great, but there's still a lot of finishing that needs to be done to the part. Yeah. Um, how does that look with, with mantle parts? Yeah, that, that's one of the key differences is that our, our parts, when they come out of our process, when they're finished coming out of our machine, have, yes, yeah, surface finish and accuracy that's, that's much, much closer to what you need for end-use tooling. Um, yeah, thanks, Data. Uh, now, but we recognize, in, in many cases, we have a lot of examples where people are able to mold right away with what comes right out of our, our technology. We focused our, our material efforts on making sure that that you can do all the standard post processes. You can polish, you can texture, you can grind, machine, EDM, all the stuff that you would normally do to, to molds and, and to steels, you can do it with our materials too. And what is the, um, what, uh, I, I just brain farted totally. Um, what's the longevity of the parts? Sure. Well, the, so that's data. We're still collecting that type of data. Um, what we've got so far is, and what we know is that our H13 material is chemically equivalent to normal H13. So okay. it should behave just like standard H13. Uh, we, we announced last week a, a project with Tessie Plastics where they're using our inserts in production. Yeah, Dana's got that, the one she's right, hold on, right hold on. Let's, let's Paul thankfully shared his parts with me. So. <laughs> <laughs> It's a, so that one's running in production right now, over 400,000 cycles on it. Uh, that It's a big 32 cavity tool that has one of our P20 type inserts and one of our H13 inserts in it. So we expect the, the P, our P20 material will eventually uh, wear out because it's got a, a lower hardness, but the H13 will, uh, we expect to behave just like standard H13. Uh, but we're, we're still collecting that data. We can't point to huge studies that have uh, completed yet in order to, to provide that data. But 400,000 parts and it's still running. And those parts that are coming off the mold are being shipped to customers, which is pretty impressive. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, can you take these parts when they're in the post process after they've been polished? Can you then take them and plate them or put DLC coating? Um, because that's going to increase that longevity of the part as well, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, certainly. In fact, at Amerable last week, we had a part that was uh, DLC coated. Yeah, Scott thought of that, which was awesome. <laughs> Scott's been in the manufacturing and molding industry for 31 years, I think. So yep. he he comes from tooling, he understands, and he's tried out the polishing and the coating now. So super helpful to understand, you know, all of those post processes that we can do um, with a tool.